Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Salutations unto the 144,000 teaching his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work of the Lord in all truth and sincerity. And shalom to the one third men, women, and children who believe in the word that's been taught unto them. All right. Um, the title of this lesson is going to be The Most High is Dealing with You Scoffers. Okay. You know, um, we certainly are in the end days, man. Because the, 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 the frequency of the judgments of the Lord that's going out and how quick they're going out is a great indicator of the times that we're living in. Okay, we are most certainly living in the last days, man. All right, so really now is the time where we have to uh, fear the Lord more than ever. You know, put our best foot forward. Pray, of course, that goes without saying, you know, pray without ceasing, you know, and uh, a major prayer that, that we should be praying is Psalms 51, man, you know, for the Lord to take not his Holy Spirit from us, man, because the Lord has got guys who have been laboring in this truth over 10 years, right, bugging out, calling on, 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 on false gods, you know, going back to, you know, to Greek names, you know, um, you had that individual from the camp of one body, okay? He tried to, you know, he tried to um, uh, uh, um, persuade uh, an individual who subscribes to the teachings of GMS. You know, he tried to convince him otherwise that, you know, one body has the truth. And GMS ain't got the truth And then the following day he, Hey man The Lord called his spirit up man Alright So all you Scoffers You know uh, You know you, you you guys That's you Jake That's in the world And you laugh at this whole uh, You know The Israelite movement Shall I say You know For lack of better words You know This, this truth going out Okay uh, uh, um, The elect waking up You know Those of you that, that Mock and scoff at this I think that this is just some joke Alright well, <laughs> well We'll see man If you don't repent man we'll, we'll see man When the Lord punches your number Alright Or when he uh, uh, Judges you However he sees fit man You know You're, you're gonna have to give account For for, for for every idle word That you spoke man Alright Don't don't think that You're out here Bullshitting And, 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 and you know uh, uh, There's not a witness against you all right, Amos 9 and 8 says how the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, man. So, so you know, you have to mind what you're doing. All right, because every, every, absolutely everything, man, everything is being recorded. All right, there's nothing that goes down in the world that the Most High doesn't know about. Okay, so you have to mind how you move. All right, so, um, you know, I'm going to bring out the precepts. You know, really, I'm going to just flow in the spirit. But let's start here in Luke 10 Excuse me Luke 10 and verse 16 Because you see what you guys need to understand Is that when you buck up against us Teaching you this truth Really you're not bucking up against us But you're bucking up against the Heavenly Father You're bucking up against Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai Okay Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father The Most High Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son Which the world would ignorantly call Jesus Christ Okay, so this is Luke 10 and verse 16 And it reads He that heareth you, heareth me And he that despiseth you, despiseth me And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me So you see, you, what you guys don't understand is that you, It's not that you have a personal problem with us all right. Oh, I don't like the way that brother teach. Hey, Second Corinthians eleven. But though I be rude in speech, but not in knowledge. All right. Didn't the scriptures uh, describe Yahweh Shai as an austere man? 
All right. So so Yahweh Shai, he weren't he weren't you know, he he was a very stern man. You know, he was what the world would would call today quote unquote toxic, <laughs> toxic toxic. Oh my days. So like toxic masculinity. Okay, that's how the world would describe Yahweh Shai. If Yahweh Shai was to come down today, you know. So when you buck up against us, you know those of us teaching the word and truth and sincerity, really you're bucking up against the Lord, man. And the Lord is gonna judge accordingly. All right, and that's why you you have to watch what you say, man. You know, like I've I've had family members say to me, uh, uh, uh you know. Do you need to uh, watch the men that you listen to? This this God that you preach over you, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, uh, those those silly names, you know. Hey man, you you better mind what you're saying, man. You better mind what you're saying. Okay? Because because hey man, the Lord sees all. Alright? Don't don't think that, that that's gonna go uh, 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 um, unaddressed. Alright? Let's prove that. This is Matthew 12. And 36. And it reads. For, uh, uh, but I say unto you. That every idle word that men shall speak. They shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. So you know that particular family member. Hey man. When that time comes. You're, you're going to have to. Uh, uh, um, you know. Give account thereof. In the day of judgment, man, because you're you're mocking the names of of, of of you know the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, and you actively come up against the doctrine. You know you've proven yourself on many occasions to be to, to be an unbeliever. All right. Well, you know if you don't believe, well then the Lord has no choice but to judge your ass, man, and that judgment is going to be precise, expedient. And, 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 you know, um, uh, um, uh, what's the word, man? Quick, you know, see the Lord, he will let you do your bullshit for a season, man. However long that season may be. But you see, once that judgment comes, he, hey, man, he, he just closes the book on you, man. Boom. And that's it. Done. Just like that, uh, 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 individual from one body, man. Trying to convince someone who subscribes to the teachings of GMS that, that he should follow one body And then the, fo the following day man Not even a week later Two weeks later Alright within 24 hours man His ass was upstairs Just like that Hey man that's why uh, uh, um, uh, The scriptures say Knowing the terror of the Lord We persuade men and, that, and that's what we're doing man You see the problem is These scoffers don't know the terror of the Lord That's why they think they can go about Scoffing, making all these silly remarks, okay, uh, bucking up against the doctrine, bucking up against the men of the Lord, all right, you know, proudly as well, because they they think that um that that nothing will come of it, man. They they think that the Most High and His only begotten Son are just some gigantic teddy bears, man, who who are just some pushovers, you know, um, some passive powers, who you know, uh, uh, uh they they just let everything slide. You know So they just skip along in their bullshit man In their madness Until that judgment comes upon them And, 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 and you know The Lord is justified in, in, in what he Brings upon that, the, those individuals man In 2nd Ezra 16 It says how your sins Okay It says your sins Will be your accuser in that day Alright so, so basically All the judgment that's going to come for you Is going to be deserved man Based on your own actions man Based on your own works, okay. Now another sign that we are in, that we are most certainly, well, not even another. Uh, uh, you know, the fact that we have all these scoffers among us is a very telling sign of 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 the times that we're in, okay. Let's hold um, let's hold uh, Second Peter chapter three and. Uh, and uh, verse 3 and it reads Knowing this first That there shall come in the last days scoffers Alright it says in the last days scoffers And we have more scoffers now More than ever man You see 
You'd think that with all the prophecies going forth, all right, or, or, or uh, um, you know, the prophecies are, are, are popping off the pages like popcorn, man. You'd think that people would, would, would turn around and be like, hey, you know what, man? Maybe, maybe those Israelites, they're, they're onto something, man. Maybe they're right because, you know, all the words that they've uh, uh, spoken onto us, these things are actually coming to pass now. You would think that individuals would do that, man. But the fact of the matter is, these people are bugged out, man. That's why, even though prophecy is blatantly playing out in, in their faces, they can't see it. All right? Because really, it's the Most High that's blinding them, man. Read, uh, um, uh, what's that, Isaiah 6. All right? The Heavenly Father is the one that's got them in a trip bag. The Heavenly Father is the one that don't want them to wake up. So he's fed them, he's given them to their own devices, man. And they're fully engrossed in it. All right? And there's no telling them otherwise. You see? So it says in 2 Peter 3 and verse 3, it says, um, Knowing this first, that end of, what's this guy doing? What's this guy doing? What are you doing? It says, Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts. All right? They, they have their own interpretation of the Bible. All right? You can't tell them shit. They believe that the name of the Heavenly Father is or Grand Makama and, 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 and whatever other madness is spewing out of their mouth. They believe in the rapture, the rapture doctrine. All right. They, they, hey man, these, these scoffers, they, they still believe that, that we got uh, uh, um, um, uh, um, centuries in this place, man. 100 years, 200 years, 300 years. You know, you, you, got, you got niggas in the world, right? Talking about generational wealth, man. You know, like, like we ain't in the last days. Like Esau ain't about to do away with this current monetary system and everyone's going to be fed with what? A UBI, man. Universal basic income. So the richer get richer and the poorer get poor. Don't, can't you see that, that, that Esau, all right, the elite, the wicked elite of Esau are, are, are making actions, making moves to deliberately wipe out the middle class, all right? But here you are talking about generational wealth, man. And what you're going to pass down to your children And all of that malarkey man I mean, You see the, the, the Lord Has put that spirit of deep sleep on you man What's that Isaiah 28 and 10 You know He's giving you eyes that you do not hear or Eyes that you do not hear Look at me Salaki man Eyes that you, don't, that you do not see And ears that you do not hear Alright See That's why uh, um, um, Hey the scriptures say faith is a gift Okay, not, not just anyone uh, uh, can read the Bible with understanding or, 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 you know, watch the sit-downs or the camp videos and, and, and be edified, man. Okay, so the fact that we can receive that understanding is, is, is a, uh, a blessing unto us, man. And it's most certainly... <gasps> Excuse me. And it's most certainly something we shouldn't take for granted, man. All right, so let's read... Uh, uh, Verse 4 now 2 Peter 3 and 4 And saying Where is the promise of his coming And, and that's what these scoffers be saying man You know because they, they still believe uh, uh, There's 100 years 200, 300 years left in this place You know I, I had a family member Say how oh you know Hey man this family member said to me How uh, um, You know you, you say we're in the end of the world This that and the other you know, because, you know, when you first come into the truth, man, you know, we most of us had that phase where, you know, you try to wake up your family members and, you know, you're, you're met with the harshest of rejections. All right. So, yeah, man, you know, the family member said to me, oh, yeah, you say, oh, the end of the world, this and that. But let me tell you something, man. It says how it, the Bible says how a day to the Lord is as a thousand years. And the funny thing is that is actually in this particular chapter, man. That's in the... Uh, uh, um, listen, I think um, yeah, that's in verse eight. You know, you know, say oh, so so she was basically trying to say how you can't be in the end times because one day to the Lord is as a thousand years, man. But 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 then you need to do the maths, mate. All right, because uh, Yahweh Shai he he died on the cross. Uh, uh, um, okay, in 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 heavenly timing, shall we say, um, just over two days ago. All right, which. In earthly timing would equate to uh, 
um, um, you know, just over two thousand years. All right, so so already there's been it's been over two thousand years since Yahweh Shai was crucified, man. So what you think he's not ready to bring his judgment? You you, you think he's, you think he's coming in the four thousand year? You know, in four in five days, the five thousand year, five thousand years later. All right, so hey, man, you just have to leave the scoffers. Hey, um, <laughs> uh, Lord willing, I remember, man, but I want to pull Romans 3 and 3 after this one. But let's read on in verse 4 and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. And this is what bugs them out, man, because they see, every, you know, life, life, you know, life goes on, you know, everything is still going as it used to. So they're like, yeah, man, we, you know, ain't nothing changed. You know, we, uh, 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 we can't be in the end days. I'm still able to go to work. I'm still able to, to, to put food in the fridge, and go out and buy, go on holiday and do this, that and the other. So, yeah, we, we're, we're most certainly not in the end. That is what bugs them out, man. All right. But hey, man, soon it is going to like it's not evident already, man. But the, as time goes on, it's just going to become increasingly evident. Of the times that we're living in, man. Okay. It says, um, it says in verse five, for this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. And this is talking about the time of Noah, man, during the time of the flood. Okay. So, so uh, 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 Noah, he was ministering unto the people for hundred for a hundred. Hey, man, and this goes to show you, man, that look, man, don't waste time on niggas. You know, as the saying goes, if a nigga can't get it, we moving on, man. We we ain't gonna break our backs, and bend, you know, uh, bend uh, backwards all the way backwards just to, to 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 get Jake to understand the truth, man. All right. If, if the Lord wants you If he wants to wake you up What does it say in Isaiah 11 man It says I will make thee of quick understanding Alright so if the Lord You know uh, wants you to understand his word Then he will make you understanding You ain't really gonna buck up against the doctrine Or get bugged out When you hear certain things like For instance the the um, uh, um, the great uh, doctrine man Alright so the Lord ain't gonna bug you out, man. If 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 you know he wants you to 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 uh, understand his word, man, his truth. Okay. Um. So it says um in verse seven. It says, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word kept in store, reserved unto fire. Against the day of judgment You see this this current world that we living in right now Is being reserved unto fire Okay um, I lost my place Against the day of judgment And perdition of ungodly men Okay And we're living in a time where Nuclear destruction is imminent man Nuclear destruction ain't something That's a hundred years away 200 years away so if if nuclear destruction is 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 imminent all right and then you have an acronym uh called mad okay which means uh mutually assured destruction because what once, once one opposing side fires the, their, their nukes then the other opposing side is going to fire their nukes which ultimately they, they you know the world leaders they know and understand that you know that's armageddon and that's the end Because hey man Ain't no one surviving Ain't no You know Society's not going to be able to stand After the nuclear destruction Is what I'm trying to say Alright So you have something called Mutually assured, assured destruction So both sides Will be destroyed man Okay But we, we're living in a time Where That's around the corner man That That's not even something That's centuries away Decades away Alright Hey man, we, we could be out of here in a matter of months That could be 6 months, 12 months, 18, 24, 36 But that's still months man Okay 48 But then, you know, you see these scoffers man 
you know, again, they want to talk about things that are generational wealth, man. You, 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 man, you air not knowing the scriptures, man. That's that's the problem, man. Okay. You air not knowing the scriptures. And I'd read verse eight, but I already kind of broke it down, so no need to touch on that again. Um, what did I want? Romans three. This is the book of Romans three and three. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? You see, and this is another thing you guys need to understand, man. You see, it, it don't matter if you don't believe, man. You know, trust me, man. We we ain't losing sleep because because a scoffer didn't wake up. You know, because a scoffer didn't believe. We ain't losing sleep, man. We we we've we've uh, cleaned your blood off our hands. You know, uh, what is it saying? Um, um, uh, uh, what is that? Ezekiel three. You know how um, we you know we're set out to, to to warn the people, and if we don't warn you correctly, then then. We'll have your blood on our hands But we've given out the warning man So really You know I'd say it's down to you But really it's down to the Heavenly Father Whether he wants to wake your ass up or not You know Whether he wants to wake you up Or keep you in that deep sleep Okay But but We've done our job We've, we've held up our end of the bargain We talked the word onto you You didn't want to hearken You didn't want to hear it That's on you man That's between you and the Lord now all right, and if you don't repent, and if the Lord don't put His Spirit on you, then you will be judged, man. You will be judged accordingly. Okay. So it says in verse four, Romans three and four, the Most High forbid. Yeah, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. All right, and these these uh, uh you know, Pastor Porkchop. Uh, 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 these um, you know, quote unquote woke people, they're liars, man. They're not coming with the truth. You know, camps teaching uh, another doctrine They're all liars, man It says, as it is written That thou mightest be justified in thy sayings And mightest overcome when thou art judged So, you know, when that time comes Lord willing, we be of the elect We're going to be um, justified in our sayings, man Okay We're going to overcome when thou art judged Lord willing, we be of that number Alright, because hey man, there's, there's a lot of false doctrine going out here man There's a lot of, uh, 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 you know, people bugging out Okay, so, so you know, that's very telling of the times that we're in Which is why again, it's important that we pray Psalms 51 over our lives man And pray for the body man, don't just pray for yourself Pray for the body man Because we all going through it, we all catching hell You know, you don't know what our brother's dealing with The moment he closes out his video and says Shalom you know, so 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 pray for the elect, man, and pray to be a part of the elect. All right. This is Second Timothy four, and uh, let's start at the top, man. Just bear with me a second. All right. So this is Second Timothy four and verse one, and it reads, "I charge thee." Therefore, before the Most High, Yahweh, and the Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom, man. Damn. Who shall judge the quick and the dead? So who, 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 who are the quick? The elect. Those of us who subscribe to this truth. Those of us who uh, 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 believe wholeheartedly in the doctrine. Who have, you know, the words within us, man And then who are the dead? Alright Well, what does it say in Proverbs 21 and, and 16, man? It says He who wandereth out of the way of understanding Shall remain in the congregation of the dead So the dead are those who don't have the truth Alright Who, 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 uh, um, who won't repent Okay, that's the dead, man all right, and, and they're going to remain in that congregation of the dead For as long as they don't repent Okay, for as long as they don't change their ways For as long as the spirit of the Lord ain't dwelling within them And they, they remain in the congregation of the dead Okay This is verse 2 Preach the word Be instant in season Out of season Alright, so come rain or shine 
hey man, you still got to do the work, man. You know, you dealing with infirmities or, or, or demons or whatever the hell you may be dealing with. Hey, you still have a responsibility, and that is to teach the word in all truth and sincerity, man. So it says, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke. So you guys coming up with your false doctrines, man, we have a duty to reprove and rebuke you, man, for teaching the words of the Heavenly Father incorrectly, man. Okay? It says, um, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Yes, we have to exhort. So, you, you, you know, uh, words of encouragement, you uplifting brothers. All right, this is the, the uh, duties and responsibilities of a true man of the Lord. Okay, it says in verse 3 For the time will come, all right, and we're in that time, man. Let's make that very clear. We are most definitely in that time, man, where they will not endure sound doctrine. That's right, they won't endure sound doctrine, man. Everyone wants to, you know, uh, uh, remix the scriptures. Come up with their own uh, uh, um, interpretation. Oh yeah, well, I know an angel appeared to me in a dream. He, he he told me that the name of the heavenly Father is or Grand Makamar or whatever other madness. All right. It says for the time will come where they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap. To themselves, teachers having itching ears. All right, you you want to hear what Pastor Portrop has to say? You want to listen to brothers teaching in the name of or Grand Makama or whatever other madness? All right, you you don't want to uh, uh, present your body as a living sacrifice and 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 you know partake in the sufferings of Yahweh Shai so that you can be glorified alongside with him at his appearance, man, at his appearing. Okay. It says in verse 4 And they shall turn away their ears from the truth Alright And that's what many of our people have done They have turned their ears away from the truth man Which is why they don't want to hearken unto you Alright Which is why it's not your job To force these scriptures down their throat man If you come unto them You give them the truth They reject it Well then you keep it moving man You wipe the dust off your feet The dust off your garments And you keep it moving man Alright we ain't, we ain't gonna be hung up on these Israelites, man. You know, you, you repent, you come to the Lord in your own time. No, man. If a nigga can't get it, we moving on, man. All right, we ain't wasting time on individuals like that. It says, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned to fa onto fables, man. All right? It shall be turned onto fables. All right, we are living in those times right now, man. Okay? These things are happening right now Alright So I'm going to leave you brothers with this one here man Let's hold Proverbs 1 One of my favourites man One of my all time favourites man Let's start from 22 And it reads How long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity And the scorners delight in their scorning And fools hate knowledge You know how long are you simple niggas man Just going to keep bucking up against the truth you know, remixing the doctrine, coming up with your own unique uh, uh, interpretation and understanding of the Bible. You know, how long, man? Well, the answer to that is, uh, <laughs> as it will give you in Isaiah 6, man, you're, you're pretty much going to be that way up until judgment, man. Up until the time of major judgment and destruction, it's, you're going to continue that way, man. All right, so, which is why, once again, man, if you have the true wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, man, you should be grateful, man. So why do you howl about Shimi Al Shai? Because you didn't get it because of your doing. Because really, we don't deserve it, man. But because the Heavenly Father just, you know, uh, uh, the scriptures say, I think that's in Romans 9 and 15, if I'm not mistaken, that, that I will have mercy on, you, on whom I will have mercy on. All right? So, you know, it, it had nothing to do with you, man. Just uh, um, <laughs> as they say in science, what do they call it? What? Natural selection, man. Okay? So Thawari Yahweh Bashim Yahshai But then now You have to pray the spirit stays on you Because you know The same way the Lord put that spirit on you Is the same way he can take it off us man So Psalms 51 Has to be uh, uh, one of our major prayers man Okay It says in uh, verse 23 Turn you at my reproof Behold I will pour my spirit Pour out my spirit onto you I will make my words known unto you And the Lord has made his words known unto us man Alright, he's appointed us 
uh, uh, um, teachers. You know, read Isaiah 30 and 20, man. Although I give you the... Uh, 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 the bread of affliction and the wine of adversary Yet your eyes shall see your teachers Roughly paraphrasing man So we see our teachers man Okay And the Lord has made his words known unto us man You got these sit downs You got the camp videos Alright The Lord uh, has extended his hand Okay But then it says in verse 24 Because I have called and ye refused I have stretched out my hand And no man regarded but ye have set out no all my counsel and would none of my reproof. You, you didn't want to hear the words of the Lord, long story short, man. Right? You, you always bucked up against the, 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 the prophets. You mocked, you scoffed. You know, you had your own interpretation, you know, talking about, oh, no, 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 no that not my Jesus. My, my Jesus won't do that. Mm -mm, that. That not my Jesus. All right, then, well, you're going to see what your Jesus going to do for you in that day, okay? You know? It says in um, verse 25 uh, But ye have set at naught all my counsel And with none of my reproof I also will laugh at your calamity I will mock when your fear cometh And, and, and the same way the heavenly father spoke his word unto you Via his men Is the same way the heavenly father is going to laugh at you Via his men um, Doesn't it say in the book of Job 5 and 22 That at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh Okay so you see, man. Uh, you see, the thing is, man. You you either get right or you get left, man. You know, the scoffing is only gonna get you so far, man. But even the scoffers are gonna see that. Oh shit! One day they're gonna see. Uh, uh, eventually, oh all right. So these men really had it right all this time, and I came up against them, man. But it's gonna be too late by then for a lot of you. All right. It says in verse twenty-seven, when your fear cometh as desolation. And your destruction cometh as a whirlwind When distress and anguish cometh upon you Alright, so when you catch an all oh, hell man you're, you're, you're just through Alright When you're in that situation where your back's against the wall You know, Amos 5 and 18 uh, You know, you go one way A serpent's there, you go another way A lion's there Or, you know, however it goes in, in that particular precept But basically saying there's just trouble all around, man. You, you can't escape the judgment. Okay? So when that comes upon you, it says in verse 28, Then shall they call upon me, man. Hey, isn't that the story of Israel's life, man? All these different captivities we went into, you know, we'd repent, we'd get right with the Lord, and then we'd start reverencing other gods again. we start going off, all right? And then the Lord would put us back into captivity under another nation. And then it'll be the same cycle, man. Then we repent, we get right, and then and then you know the, the, it was just a like a conveyor belt, man. Just just an ongoing cycle, all right. But the Lord, he ain't he ain't dealing with that shit, man. Once again, man, you either get right or you get left. There's no way about it, all right. So it says then in verse 28, when you're in that all, you know all hell breaks loose, right? You, you're through now. It says then shall they call upon me, okay. Um, damn, can I squeeze here? Let's see. So, like, spare me a minute. Spare me a minute. I got this. I got this. Open it. I got this. Looking for the noises, man. Uh, so where was I, man? Verse twenty-eight. Then shall they call upon me. All right. That's that's when you're gonna see it fit to call upon the Lord. Okay. But I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Point blank. Period, man. And when that time of judgment comes, it, you know you might be in a situation where you might run into a man of the Lord. You might run into one of the men that you, you highly disregarded when they were trying to save your soul, man. Trying to teach John to you the right thing. And you're going to be like, oh, you know, uh, uh, what was that name you was calling on? Uh, uh, you know, uh, how do I get saved? And, and uh, hey, man, um, it says in Ezekiel uh, how the Most High is going to cause um, our tongues to cleave to the roof of our mouths. Basically, he's going to sharp the mouth of his prophets, man. 
And this truth, this word will no longer be accessible unto you, man. All right. So you see, man, you, you mockers and you scoffers, man, you know, it's all just for a little season, man. You know, we can see that the judgment of the Lord is coming down upon you particular individuals, man. So it's only a matter of time before we're completely justified in our sayings, man. Okay, which the Lord is, is continuously proving uh, 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 the true men of the Lord, the prophets, predominantly the men of Great Millstone, to be right. Okay. So, um, you know, I've, I've pulled up at the job now, you know. So I'm going to take my ass in. I've got like three minutes before I got to go in. So I'm going to go, man. Uh, but I believe I made the point. So, you know, I pray, Lord willing, this lesson has been edifying. And until the next time, I say Shalom.